least favorite things about editing is trying to find the perfect song for a project because I'll find something that sounds really good but it will have that one annoying noise throughout or it will have vocals when I don't want them. And yeah, I know that a lot of music sites will now let you download individual stems, but sometimes I don't know which sound I'm looking to get rid of. And I find it to be more of a hassle to do that than to just try and find another song. But now we don't have to worry about that because DaVinci Resolve 19, the beta version has just come out with an amazing music tool. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're in the edit page with this music track. Let's have a quick listen before we start doing things like removing the vocals. Really nice Just gonna create an out point here and an in point here and turn loop on so that it plays over and over as we make changes. And while this tool is absolutely incredible. This one particular thing is a massive oversight from Resolve. It's just confusing and I hope they address it. So you have to click here on the track, like right over here to be able to access and see Music Remixer. Now we can turn it on and check this out. You can mute the vocals, the drums, guitar, and so on. And you can use these sliders to increase or decrease the volume of them. Let's have a listen. It had a really nice sparkle. It was a light in this town. It had a really nice sparkle. It was a light in this town. It had a really nice sparkle. It was a light. In If you want a different view to work with this, you can click over here to open this window up, make any adjustments you'd like. And just an FYI, since we used Music Remixer on this audio one track, any other audio that we bring on this track will also be affected. Now, this is just one of the many new amazing tools in DaVinci Resolve 19. If you want to know some of the other best new features, check this video out next. And coming up, Will and I are going to be releasing more tutorials looking at some of our favorite new features and how to use them. So to stay in the loop, subscribe. I hope you have a lovely day and we'll see you in the next video.